What's up, y'all? Let's get straight into it. Yes, you can get the book that started the 4B movement in South Korea in English. It's called Kim Ji Young, born 1982. I thought by... it was going to be called Kim Jong Un. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to be like, boy. Chonamju. It was translated to English in 2020 by Jamie Chang. And like I mentioned in my last video, this is a fictional book about a Korean every woman talking about her experiences with sexism and misogyny from when she was. Keyword. Fiction book. Fiction. So this ain't real, but y'all taking it as holy script. That's crazy work. A little girl all the way to her having her first child and suffering from postpartum depression. Now, even though this is a fictional book, the author included so many sources cited of real world data about the misogyny and sexism and the issues in South Korea. So this wasn't just like relatable. This is also scientifically researched and she had the receipts. OK, she is not joking. And it's not that long. It's a quick read. But as you can see, it has the citations on the bottom. I don't even think it's 200 pages. Let me check for you. What I love about the citation saying is an idiot can say something stupid and then somebody cites it. <laughs> you know what I mean, bro? Like, come on. You. It's about 163 pages. So this novella, this little bad boy right here, the power of literature that this book truly changed the game in South Korea. I read it myself. I highly recommend it. it is Some of the comments say, you must be Dumbo's cousin with those ears. Fired! Uh, another one is, dude, I got this book from my school when I was in a mental hospital. Brutal. When you said the power of literature, it made me rethink my entire career as an author. I've been writing escapism, but I could be writing empowering and enlightening fiction. <laughs> Um, fiction book. You mean novel? Just ordered it. I threw the book multiple times while reading so much rage. See, that's what I'm saying. If you're going to buy something that's just going to give you a bunch of rage, then why would you even buy? Like, come on, dude. Now, I, oh, I'm used to people calling me harsh and telling me that I'm mean and I'm not patient with women and I don't understand this, that, and the third. And this post isn't going to be any different from those other posts. I'm not even going to lie. Sometimes I just be telling the truth and y'all just don't like it. Y'all are not there yet and that's not my problem so Facts. what i'm gonna say is this a lot of people who are screaming 4b 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 movement y'all don't really mean that you're just saying that because you don't have a man at the moment Shots fired! tell him sis you're just saying that because you're frustrated right now but you don't really mean it a lot of you who are saying that you got your ex on speed dial still <laughs> if you and your friends go out to eat you're going to be looking around trying to find the first guy that you think is cute you're all Let up in go. your co-workers face at work because you think he's fine and you're trying to shoot your shot with him and the moment a viable option presents itself you will fold like a folding chair at a family reunion. And a lot These of women go back to factory settings so quick, man. Times when I'm reading the comments on my videos, I know who those who really don't mean what they say are. I can pick you guys out because y'all will give the longest, most eloquent speeches in my comment section about how I'm giving up on men as I forge forward through my future and I am no longer looking back and worried about anything. And I just be like, okay, girl, but how do I know this? When I was at the height of my pick me era, I remember I was sitting around with some of my friends and they were trying to talk some sense into me over some guys that I had been talking to at the moment. And I was like, you know what? I'm giving up on this guy and I'm not talking to him anymore because I am no longer going to allow him to treat me like shit. And when I was done giving my speech, I looked around and my friends were looking at me like this. <laughs> because they knew me well enough to know I was full of shit. And sometimes her friends were like, Stop the cap. Honey, we know you're taking him back. When you are on the dating scene and you are frustrated because nothing is popping, you have to tell yourself things to make yourself feel better about what is going on. Back. Sometimes we tell ourselves, well, I'm just too good for him and that's why he's not talking to me. Meanwhile, your life is in fucking shambles and you need a couple sessions of therapy. You need to talk to a financial... Well, a lot of people treat therapy like it's a personality trait. Yeah, me and my therapist, we're thicker than thieves. You know, me and my therapist are really tight. You know, we've been going to therapy for four years. I, personally, I don't think you should go to therapy for four years. We're one of the only countries where people go to therapy and it's a personality trait.
Pfizer. Your life is in ruins and you really do need to get your shit together. You don't need to be talking to anybody right now, but let's Thanks. not get into that because that's mean. But we start to tell ourselves things to make ourselves feel better and deal with the fact that our phone is a little dry right now. We've been swiping left and swiping right. Nothing is popping. You don't have to say you're a part of a movement that you really don't deeply and passionately believe in. And well, how can you be a part of a movement when the movement's been around for about 48 hours, dude? <laughs> These women are talking about... This movement ain't even been around more than 72 hours and all you ladies talking about, I'm 4B. What are you, you don't even really know what this movement's all about, dude. I know the dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt in an accident. Have you ever found yourself involved in a personal injury case? As an image consultant, I meet a lot of clients who are actually recovering from all sorts of injuries, from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was actually surprised to see at how many people lose their personal injury cases, which is why I wanna talk about Morgan and Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they've won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, they're going to fight for the money that you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan solidified verdicts in Florida for $12 million and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is, it's all free unless you win your case. Now, if you've also been the victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi, found in the description below, where you can start your free claim today. These women are talking about how they're not going to date men, sleep with men, procreate with men. And what are you going to do? Feminism is going to lead these women into dating each other. It screams, no woman wants me, so I must talk ish about them to get them to pay attention to me. Well, you have our attention. And I wonder if he gets the irony of his video about how he calls the 4B movement misandry, but his whole video is just filled with misogyny. He's absolutely wrong, at least in regards to the American version of the movement which is about taking our power back. We don't hate men, at so least- I Not having sex with men is taking your power back, huh? I don't. I just think the world would be a better place if women held the same power as they did, meaning equal pay, equal treatment, equal chores, and not having to pay the pink tax. For far too long, we've let men hold all the power. Now it's our turn to stand up and take a stance. It's so funny to me that he says, if all women boycott men, then all we're gonna have is each other. And what's wrong with that? I think being with a woman would be easier and less stressful than dating a man at this point. Anyways, I think his video is just rage bait. Who knows if he really believes what he's blabbing about? Because if you look at the rest of his videos, they have pretty low views. And this controversial video has the most views. So I'm guessing he's just trying to stir up drama so he can make money in the creative rewards program. And yes, I understand I am technically falling into his trap by responding to- I was about to say, aren't you doing the same exact thing, dude? ...to this video. But I'm making this video to tell everybody to stop engaging with that man and stop making stitches and duets because that's what he wants. He could care less about the movie. I love it. I love it, dude. So the thing that I'm constantly seeing on social media every day is uh, people, men and women, saying that the 4B crashed or it failed or it's not working or whatever. And I'm here to say, yes, it is. The only reason why this was a movement, I said this before, is because millions upon millions upon millions of women all around the world got on social media or whatever and we realized that we were not the only ones going through a lot of the same stuff with males. Thus, it became a movement. Most of us were already for being before there was even a name for it, right? So if this so first comment goes, does anyone think the four B movement might might not be godly? It's rooted in good cause, but segregation is always sketchy. Sadly, lack of self control. Sadly, lack of self control caused all of this. Got a point. Call movement failed tomorrow or whatever, according to you guys. Um, these men will still be dry peeing out here. There's still going to be a male loneliness epidemic. It's going to get worse. The, the attacks on women and stuff is going to get worse. These laws that uh, go against women's rights are going to get worse. And the reason why these things are happening is because all these women all over the world are closing up shop. And this is the part that y'all don't get. The 4B has worked and it will continue to work for those of us who are in it and who support it. Or, but the, typically those of us Yeah, who the 4B movement will work for the women that avoid men. But there's a lot of women that aren't avoiding men. Are literally in it. It's working for us. Now let me count all the ways that it's working for us. We're not being cheated on. 
We're not being lied to and gaslit. We sleep like babies at night. The women who ever had uh, dating apps, I never had one. But for those of women with a half a brain even who had dating apps, they deleted them shits. You know what I'm saying? We're not dealing with all the woes and the BS that comes with dealing with males and their BS, right? We're not dealing with it, okay? You guys... What I think the 4B movement is, it's really just a rise of fem cells. <laughs> Women that can't find men, especially men that want to commit to them, women that just want men that are, you know, way out of their league, they they would love a man because more than likely they would like to quit their job, maybe stay at home, but they can't ever find a man that is of, of value that can provide that lifestyle for them. So therefore they're like, well, I'm just going to go into man hating. It's a lot easy to, it's a lot easier to just hate the opposite side if you never get attention from them versus being like, you know what? I'll hold myself accountable. More than likely, the things I'm doing and the way I'm moving isn't procuring the man that I want. Black women, do not participate in this for B movement. If you want to be celibate for you, do it because of your own thoughts. Do not do it because society is telling you to do it. Because at the end of the day, we are not the reason those results look the way that they look. Everybody else let us down. We had each other's back. I will say this though, you need to be saving all your money because we will be facing financial hardships. So if you can get out the country, I advise you to get out. If you can't, you need to save as much money as possible because these tariffs are going to kill us. Mortgages are going to go up. I hope it was all worth it just for gas. Department of Education, eliminate it. I hope it was all worth it. Now, people are not, a lot of people are not going to be able to go to college anymore. I hope it was all worth it. Hmm? Okay, if you want to know where I'm at, mm, oh, see, I haven't showered, brushed my teeth yet. I'm eating, I'm literally eating cookie dough. <laughs> it's 8.40 a.m. Anyway, I've been thinking a lot about having children. As you all very well know, I'm a stepmom to two beautiful boys. I love them so much. They're incredible. Um, we're trying but, to grow our family. Oh. Um, all of this has made me think a lot about... Are you supposed to eat that much cookie dough? I feel like there's a lot of cookie dough. Whether or not I should grow my family. Okay, I'm putting the cookie dough away before I stress eat. All for the 4B movement. Absolutely. Do not engage with, participate with, be a part of anything with men who do not believe in our rights. Duh. Chat, let me know. Do we not believe in women's rights? I believe in women's rights. Your body, your choice, do what you want with it. Like, since when was there just a light fl light switch that flipped that think that all men hate women? We don't, personally, I don't preach that. I don't preach hate towards women. I just like to expose the hypocrisy of like, if a woman's going to hold a man to a certain standard, men are going to hold women to a certain standard as well. The more I think about it, if all of us decide, like, we're not, we're not having children, we're not doing that, then who is having children? The conservative people are having children, which means they're just breeding more of them. No, thanks. So I've decided that the best way to resist is to, in fact, hopefully have a baby and raise them to be just as a big of a pain in the ass as I am. <laughs> How about new? Wow. She knows she's a pain in the butt, but wants more of them. You can't make this stuff up. This morning, my girlfriend woke up and told me about a, a real rabbit hole she went down last night on the TikTok app about this 4B movement in uh, South Korea. 4B. See, what's going on in South Korea, according to my girlfriend, all the women in South Korea are just not engaging with dudes anymore. They're not talking to them. They're not going on dates with them. They're certainly not banging them. Nothing. They're just stonewalling these dudes. Every girl in Korea. And it's making its way to the U.S. It's becoming a real trend. So watch out, fellas, because the entire population of females in the United States, who, by the way, can't coordinate, like, between three of them what time to have fucking brunch, but apparently, you know, all of them just worked this out, are going to just all stop talking to us. Let me tell you something. You're all too conniving and backstabbing to pull this off, even if you could all fucking agree, because you'd all start side-eyeing. Your friend's like, wait a minute, is she going to start dating that dude that I've been eyeballing on the sly? And you'll all just hook up on the sly, which is what you all fucking do anyways. And let's be honest, what's really going on in Korea is that in one city in Korea, there's a small percentage of women that are trying to do this movement. It's basically the equivalent of like if all the blue haired girls in Chicago quit banging dudes and no one's banging those girls anyways. 
So I'm sure what's going on in real life is in Korea, there's about a thousand nerds that nobody's interested in. But you're just pissing up a rope with this one. Why don't My you man is, is going in. He's wild for that. Yeah, so this patriarchy stuff that we've kind of been going along with, it's harming us. I mean, men are treating us like crap. They're unaliving us in droves. So uh, I think we're done. We're not going to partner with them or have their kids. Oh, wow. Okay, so you're just going to throw away your divine purpose of serving me and my kids? Well, then screw you. In fact, we're going to leave you alone first. How about that? Okay, but... Do you promise? Yes, we promise we're gonna leave you alone. You know what? Have fun cleaning up your cat litter. Ladies, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but some of y'all are gonna have to settle. I mean, you have to. We have got to cut it out with all these gender wars. Hey, uh, I'll settle. Oh my God, why are you talking? I just, I don't understand. Anyway, some of y'all are going to have to settle. I mean, yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. Like, they're so mad at the pick me's, but the pick, like, <sighs> misery absolutely loves company. And the women that are part of this movement, they're going to see the pick me's, which I don't even think a lot of these girls are pick me's. I just think some of them are based and, like, logical, and they're like, yeah, I want to have a family. I, like, y'all remember when we, I remember back in my day when we was little kids, right? And you'd be thinking about, oh, I just want to carve my initials in the tree of me and this girl and, and put L and K in the in the tree. And the little girls were thinking, I want to have a family with this man. And the little boy's like, I want to provide for my family. Like, what happened to that? I remember back in the day when that was a thing, when you would write your crush's name on your little binder or whatever, you know? But now it's like everybody's more worried about a job. And they're like, I I'm worried about my career. Like... Like, people are the most valuable thing, I think, in this world, in our relationships. Like, the most meaningful things I get out of life are the relationships that I have with the people I love. No job has ever made me feel fulfilled. Like, you know what I mean? Or chat, let me know if I'm crazy for this, but does your job or does something that pays you make you feel better than, like, the relationships that you have? The best the best feeling I have is when I'm sitting in there with Cass and we're watching a TV show, we're watching a movie, we're cuddled up, we're snuggled up together, the Christmas tree lights are on, and you can smell, like, the candles burning and, and Loki's laying on his place and he's doing his thing. That's, like, to me what, like, the real rewarding thing is in life, not, like, having a good job or anything like that or having a nice car or anything. So my friend's been telling me about this thing where they do no dating, no sex, no marriage with men, and it's called the 4B movement. I'm just like, oh, I've been participating in the 4B movement for years. Yeah, totally for social causes. Totally. No other reason at all. Yeah, if it weren't for that, I would absolutely be married by now. See? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So my See, that's what I'm saying. A lot of these women that are doing that, they can't procure a man in the first place because... <laughs> Men control access to relationships and women control access to sex. So if you can't get a relationship, more than likely, it's because a guy doesn't want to be in a relationship with you. It's as simple as that. <laughs> if you can't get a relationship out of a man, it's your fault. <laughs> That's what's so funny to me, dude. She's like, oh yeah, I've been participating for years. I know women that are Cass's age that couldn't get a man to even be a booty call with. Shots fired! Like, they can't even get a second call back after the first buck. That's sadness. That's sadness, Everdeen. Aww. But these ladies are talking about, yeah, I've been doing this for years. Of course you have. Men control access to relationships, and if no man wants to cuff you, you're going to be alone. It's official. I have decided to shave my hair all the way off, too, because... You know, for the longest, I used to just say, oh, I'm just celibate. I'm just not dating right now. Better celibate a, that to somebody who cares. Shots fired! But really, nobody wanted me. Nobody. And... Look at that based. <laughs> nobody wanted me. You know, I felt bad about it. I had all the excuses in the world, but now it's just going to be so much easier to just shave all my hair off. And then, you know, I won't have to lie to people anymore and say that I'm just celibate. I just, you know, I can say. <laughs> I appreciate her sense of humor. I really do. Because this chick is funny. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the reality. A lot of these women, they're not getting the attention from men as it is, bro. 
nobody's coming for y'all. A lot of the girls that are part of this movement, we've seen them in these videos. It's like a four or five part series at this point. Nobody's chasing them down. Nobody's saying, oh, stop there. I want the blue hair and the short bangs and the bull nose ring and the grandma glasses and the, I want all of that. Men are looking at, looking at them and going, I'm good. You know what? You know what? You're right. You are too good for me. You are too good for me. <laughs> Go your own way, sis. <laughs> was so crazy to me. <laughs> oh, oh. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's, uh, today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, go cop the two ebooks, The Four Pillars of Personality and The Four Steps to Style. They make you irresistible to women and respected by men. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.